Ah! Since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway. We got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! Boys, let's move it out. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. Hey, Marston, you see those vultures? We should check it out. Marston, Eli, go see what it is. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just bored playing me. I think it's this land that makes the men. As much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're born. At least that's how I see it. Poor vultures! This don't look so good. Alright, let's go check it out. dead bodies. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on! Let's pound leather, boys. Looks like they're headed for Ridgewood Farm. Sons of bitches! Didn't you want to run a gang of outlaws, Marston? Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean. This is too quiet. I got a bad feeling about this. Split up and search the area. John, you check the buildings in the barn. Nobody's in the shed.
No one here! That ain't right. No one would board up a barn like this. Break that door down. The rest of you, get your guns ready. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> Excuse me, partner. I ain't getting fresh. You and me gonna have ourselves some fun. You're gonna be all right. Head for the shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. We'll be waiting for you in the shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. Thank you. They said they were gonna kill us all. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. My God. of that bunch gets fifty dollars it ain't about the money marshal these are people's lives people's homes 
Come on, they're gonna get away! Follow me! We can still catch them! Let's go! Do you think they might be headed for Fort Mercer, Marshal? What? Williamson's men? Maybe! All oh, this sure looks like their handiwork. Makes sense if they took this road. Come on, Marshal! This might be our chance! What's your beef with Williamson anyway, Marston? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. He was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bear in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I... Wait, who's that up there? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now! Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. You know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch! I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Where the hell The maker stand here. Stay in cover. Watch your head. Stay away from me! Still breathing. Come here, boy. Come on, Bessie. Give. Oh. Norman Deke. Fuck. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Deke. Mighty kind. Fuck you. Hog time. Let's get him to jail. Let's go! Come on. Let's get this over with. Forgive me, friend. <laughs> <laughs> 